Here we're asked for the given functions to determine the domain, horizontal intercept, vertical intercept, and then sketch an accurate graph of each. f of x in part a is a cube root function. When we have a cube root, then what's underneath the radical can be any real number, including negative numbers. So that means that our domain for f of x is going to be all real numbers. So we can write this script r, or we can just write all real numbers. To find the horizontal intercept, we take what's underneath the radical, 27 minus 15x, and we set it equal to 0. I'm going to add 15x to both sides, and then I'm going to divide both sides by 15. So that's going to give me x is 27 over 15, and I'm going to round that to, I'm going to divide 27 by 15 on my calculator, and I'm going to round it, giving me 1.8. For my vertical intercept, I need to evaluate f of 0, and that's going to be the cube root of 27 minus 15x, and the x part is 0, so let's go ahead and put that as 0. And so that's going to be the cube root of 27. What times itself? 3 times is 27. Well, that's 3. So my vertical intercept is going to be 0, 3. Up here on the horizontal, let's actually write that as an ordered pair, 1.8, 0. So let's go to our y equals. And let's go ahead and clear whatever's in y1. I need to enter the cube root, which is number 4 on the math menu. And what's under the radical is 27 minus 15 x. I'm going to use my arrow key to end the radical right after the x. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that my window is the standard window and see if that's going to give me a good shape for this graph. And it does. So this is kind of an unusual graph. It's kind of like an S. So there's my vertical. There's my horizontal. And what I'm going to do is just kind of draw this shape like that, and then I'm going to identify the ordered pairs. So this is 1.8 comma 0, and this one is 0 comma 3, and this is f of x. Okay, for function g of x, it's also a cube root, which means the domain is all real numbers, all real numbers. To find the horizontal intercept, we're going to take what's under the radical, 2x minus 10, set it equal to 0. I'm going to add 10 to both sides, so 2x equals 10. Then I'm going to divide both sides by 2, giving me x equals 5. So this will be the order pair, 5 comma 0. To find the vertical intercept, I need to evaluate g of 0. That's the cube root of 2 times 0 is 0 minus 10. That's the cube root of negative 10. Let's go ahead and do that on the calculator. So second quit will take me back to the home screen. Math number 4 will give me a cube root. Negative 10 goes under the radical. Use the arrow key to end the radical and then hit enter. So I'm going to get negative 2.15. So let's go ahead and round that to negative 2.2. So that's going to give me an ordered pair 0, negative 2.2. Let's go back to our y equals, and let's enter our function. So we're going to clear out what's in y1. I need math. Option 4 gives me a cube root. 2x minus 10. I'm going to end my radical by using the arrow key. I'm going to leave the standard window that I had in the first problem and press graph and see if that will give me a decent shape. And that's pretty good. I don't think I need to change my window. There's not a lot of other detail that's going to be helped by having a larger window in either direction. So let's just get kind of an accurate shape there. And let's identify the ordered pairs here. That would be 0, negative 2.2, 
and here is 5 comma 0 and this is the function g of x.